Welcome to Link G4 Plus Training Part 36. In this video, we're going to be taking a look how to tune with water meth injection in conjunction with our Link G4 Plus software. So we need to learn how to integrate the water meth control to the link so that it knows when we're spraying the water meth. And then we also need to go and implement a fail safe strategy in case the water meth stops spraying. We're not going to damage our engine. I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can implement working with the water meth control and doing the tuning process as well as implementing these fail safe strategies. Without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with water meth injection in our Link G4 Plus standalone systems. Water meth injection is going to allow us to increase our spark timing, increase our boost pressure, and be able to make more power. But we need to integrate it into our programming properly so that if we have some kind of a, a fault going on in our water meth system, we're going to have something that we can rely on that's going to cut the power to the engine or uh, drastically reduce the spark timing, increase the fuel so that we don't damage the motor. So I'm gonna be showing you how to integrate water meth injection depending on what kind of water meth kit you're working with. I'm gonna be just covering how to work with a AM water meth injection kit because it has a pretty good fail safe strategy built into it. It's also gonna to apply to other quality water meth injection systems like an aqua mist system will have similar features. So we're just gonna again, just, just cover one of the more popular systems on the market which is gonna be AEM. But before we do that, let's talk about what we're trying to accomplish with water meth injection. So as we're spraying the water meth solution into our engine, we're gonna have two part effect. One, we're gonna be raising our effective octane because methanol is going to have a much higher octane um, compared to something like a 91 or 93 octane. So on 91 or 93, when we're spraying water meth, it might be like we're actually running 100, 110 octane. So by running a higher octane fuel, we can increase our spark timing, which is gonna allow us to make more power. And if we're on a turbo engine, we might be able to even increase the boost pressure, which is also gonna make more power. So it's gonna give us a larger tuning window where we can keep our combustion temperature in check uh, because we have that, that greater effective octane. Now, the other part effect of it is gonna be a cooling effect. If we're spraying that water solution, it's gonna have a high latent heat of evaporization. So meaning it's gonna be taking any of the temperature that would be coming in from our compressor, from our turbo or supercharger, it's gonna be cooling that down. Now we would have an intercooler already, but the water meth injection is gonna cool it even further and allow us even greater control over our spark timing, being able to get more power out of it. Now, a couple things about this. When we're spraying the water meth, um, we need to have a way we can offset our spark timing so we don't alter our main spark timing table. We also have the problem where when we're spraying our water meth solution, it's gonna be taking up a certain amount of space in the combustion chamber. We're already spraying our petrol fuel through the port injectors as our engine is running. So when we're spraying the water meth, it's going to be, uh, we're gonna to have to offset that petrol fuel coming out from our port injectors. So we need to go and actually reduce the fuel down from something like our main fuel table here as we're tuning it. So my order of operations when I work with water meth injection is always go in, tune my fuel and my spark timing tables without the water meth spraying. That allows me to have a baseline to kind of figure out what the motor wants and then from there, we can turn on the water meth and start to tune with it and start to see the advantages of working with uh, spraying that, that solution. Now, a couple things about this. When we're trying to account for this conditional use, when the water meth is going to be on, we need to implement our four and five D tables to start to allow us to offset our main fuel and spark timing table. So we're gonna think of the main fuel and spark timing tables. This is our main fuel table. Main fuel table, no meth. Then when we spray meth, we have to have it set up on a conditional so that we're gonna be having an arming switch into our link, which typically is gonna be the same arming switch we'd have going into our water meth kit to allow it to start to spray. Now the water meth kit itself is gonna be controlling when it sprays, when it stops spraying. We're gonna allow it to do that from the brain controller on that kit, but it will have an arming switch. So when we turn the arming switch on, it's gonna turn the water meth on. That's gonna be arming the water meth kit to spray. Also then arming our link system to be able to offset fuel, so we're going to be reducing fuel out of our main fuel table because we're spraying that water meth solution so we need to compensate. We're still shooting for the same target air fuel, so what we have here in our target air fuel lambda table is going to be relevant when we're running water meth. I don't offset and run a leaner target air fuel or, or a leaner lambda amount. I run the exact same as I would on 91 or 93 octane as I was not spraying my water meth. So it's typically going to be a 11.2, 11.4, 11.5 target air fuel or the equivalent of about 0.76 to 0.78 lambda if you're programming in units of lambda. So we're going to be offsetting some of that fuel and then we're also going to be going in and increasing the spark timing from whatever we programmed in our main spark timing table here. So if we found that 24 degrees was where we were at when we weren't spraying the water bath, we typically can increase our spark timing at least 
four to six degrees over what we found on 91 or 93 octane. So it's always important that you establish your, your minimum or what is gonna allow the engine to run without the water map. So it gives you flexibility to be able to turn the water map off with the activation switch, which will then allow you to run right back onto your main fuel and spark timing tables. Um, we also have to integrate when we're spraying our water meth or we have to account for the water meth failing. So if we're working with something like an AEM or an aqua mist kit, they're gonna have fail safe strategies built in. It's gonna know if you have a low level condition in your water meth tank, or if the pump stops working, it's gonna know that as well. There's a short in the circuit. It's gonna be sending an output in order to activate some function in order to protect your engine. So there's a variety of ways we can do this. So we're gonna be learning how to integrate that into our link here. So we have two different things that we have to account for. We have to account for when the water meth is actually turned on and spraying, where we're gonna offset our fuel and spark timing that we found from our main fuel spark timing tables. And then when we have the fail safe strategy start to be implemented, say there's something wrong, it's going to then take action and allow us to save the engine. There's Again, there's a couple different ways we can do about, go about doing this. So what I'm gonna be basing everything on here in this video is gonna be looking at an AM water meth injection kit. These are very, very common. A lot of people have these. Again, a lot of the other quality uh, water meth systems on the market are gonna have the same kind of fail safe strategy. So what we cover here will be slightly different as far as the wiring goes um, in terms of the actual integration to the water meth kit that you're working with. But the conceptual idea of what we're trying to accomplish here is gonna be the same across all the other kits. So what we're gonna do in order to treat the water meth as a conditional use, and conditional meaning the engine can run without it, I've mentioned that in the beginning of the video. So we're gonna be just accounting for when it actually activates and sprays so that we're gonna be using offsets to our main fuel and spark timing. So let's go in here. We're gonna be implementing in our four and 5D tuning tables here. So we're gonna treat our 4D tables here. So the four- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.